All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. All right, sorry, it's been a while since I've done a video. It took uh, a week off that I was playing in uh, two member guests, actually back to back in New York, and then took another week off. Hit the refresh button, so we're ready to go for the football season. But we are back. Videos will start coming out again. Zoom clinic's going to pick up again in July. So. Thanks for holding on out there. Today I'm going to do a video on middle safety hybrid backer, how we use our middle safety, why we play them more as a hybrid backer, why we choose the, uh, the personnel we choose to play them as a hybrid backer. Make sure you check out some of our partners, Game Strat, Sideline Replay Company we use. All right, if you are looking for highly affordable, highly reliable, great customer service, check out Game Strat. Been with them for five or six years now. All right, absolutely love the product. Dome Hats, a headwear company that I use with Playfast. We use them also Bishop Kenny. This is one of our fitted Crusader logo on the back, BK on the front. All right, we've got them in gray, white, red. Completely customizable. Check out Dome Hats. You build your own hat. Awesome product. They love coaches, former players at, at the University of Florida, so they get what we go through. Baker Sporting Goods Company we use for spirit packs, coaching shirts like this one. Our uniforms are distributed from them. They're now in the shoulder pad world with pro gear, so we get some shoulder pads and stuff from them, shut helmets, bunch of things that they do, so make sure you check out Baker Sports. Just Play, which is the software we use for our playbooks. We use it for a lot of our installs, meetings, presentations. I use it with uh, my Patreon site. I use it if I'm going to speak or do any clinics. I use their presentation mode. All right, so if you want to bring your program to the next level, best play drawing tool on the market. In my opinion, great presentation mode. Check out Just Play. Difference USA, ultimate striking machine. We use them this week in, our, in, in uh, one of our rotations in the weight room. Elbows in, thumbs up. Don't need a partner, it's you and the ultimate uh, Difference USA Ultimate Striking Machine pad sets up on your squat racks in your weight room. You don't have to worry about a guy holding a hand shield, teaching him how to do it, rotating. You, striking machine, strike violently, work on getting better, use Difference USA. All right, so well, one of the questions I get all the time when, and when guys ask us about three high, they ask me all the time, well, who's the middle safety? What type of player is it? And normally my first gut instinct would tell somebody it should be one of the best players on the field. It should be who you think is one of your best football players, right? Works out for us that it's one of our best players on the field who also, as he has grown in the last year or so, has put on enough weight to where he's now really a hybrid Sam Mike middle safety, right? So for us, the way we play it, in our coverages, our middle safety plays our version of coverages identical to the way the Mike would play coverages in a 4-2-5 or an over front defense, split field concepts, all right, middle of the field open. So our middle safety relates to three. He's a three vertical carry player, or he's got the max three vertical when we play quarters, when we play palms, all right? For us, the added benefit is when we go three by one, we can do some other things with him because he was a safety when he was younger, and he's now just grown a little bit into a bigger body, but he still runs well enough to play on a hash mark. So we're kind of fortunate this year coming up. It's his last season with us, but we're fortunate that we can do some different things with him. And in our three by one adjustments, we can still play him the way we want to play him with, his as a, with him as a hash mark player because he's done all those things and he still runs well enough and is comfortable enough to do it. But because he's added weight to his, to his frame and he's now probably 6'1", 195, I now can play him in a box, and I'll show you some of that in a minute. Now, if your middle safety that you chose was more of a safety type, then you just need to understand when you make changes, if you're going to go back to split field or if you're going to play different fronts that you can't play three high, you've got to understand where those pieces are going to be plugged in. All right? So for us, the middle safety is a hybrid backer, so that when we play our three high stuff, Split field, palms to each side if it's two by two, right? He's fitting off three. His run fit, he's an alley player to both sides, all right? So he's going to be involved in the run game heavily. He is the seventh guy in the run game, so uh, light box, 3-1, but we know the Sam and the Will are going to be involved in the run game, and we know the middle safety is going to be involved. So he becomes the seventh guy. So we end up looking like a 3-4, 4-2-5 team. If the ball gets ran, we will have seven guys, all right, somewhere involved either immediately or later to the fit. So it would look just like a split field 4-2-5 team. It would look just like a 3-4 team. We would have seven guys tied to the run game, all right, like everybody else would. Our seven guys just coming from a little bit deeper. But his fits are, he's an alley fitter, all right, and then his pass coverage, he is taking the responsibility of the mic. Okay, now, three by one, because he's a safety body, we're fortunate enough that in three by one, he also can play the high part of our, all right, 
mixed deal, which is most people's stubby or whatever you declare it, he's still good enough to play three vertical, all right? And he's good enough that if three's out, he can get to two, all right? And if that's an issue, we can change coverages. So he still runs well enough for us to play him as a high safety, but he also is big enough and he fits runs to play him down. And that's the key part for me because it's very hard to go from tight three high if you go to any four down structure, and I've done videos on this before, it takes a lot of wrinkling to keep your same three high fits and theories. All right, so for us, what we are looking into is because he's now big enough to do it, if we wanted to go into a four down world, all right, if we wanted to go into a four down world, Because he's big enough to do it, we can play him in the mic spot because when you really think about it in theory, the way we play our coverages from three high, he's the three vertical player anyways. He's the guy that pushes, he makes the alert push call. If three pushes, he finds the next route that comes in. So he's involved in the push with the Sam every day when we do it in coverage anyways. So his coverage components from here have not changed one bit. It's just a matter of is he big enough to play in the box and fit like a linebacker in the box, right? Because our fits are going to change slightly. We're going to keep it as close to three high as we can, but it's not going to be identical. But this now allows us to go from a three high world back to a two high world and keep all the same coverage components, right, to every base set. Now, we're still going to have some choices to make in three by one. Right? So if he's playing down as a linebacker and teams come out and play three by one, we now have the same issue as every other 4-2-5, 3-4-team, any other two high structure middle of the field open. How are we playing three by one? Do we need the backside safety to be borrowed? Because I'm never going to play him down as a mic all right, and ask him to carry three vertical. All right? Now, could... If we, if we bossed it over and the will came in the box, all right, and the middle safety was there, could we get into a deal where we ask him to play three vertical? Yeah, we could. We could put him back and play him where we normally play him, but now we're back kind of in a three high world, so we can, in three by one, we can live that way, and he plays all the same assignments he would play in our normal three high structure. But if we want to go to a true split field world, now what we got to be able to understand is, now if we want to go to a true split field world and he's in the box, okay, now we've got to play deals where either we're poaching with the backside safety, which means we've got to teach that because in a three high world we don't ever worry about that. The middle safety is tied to the three receivers. He plays, all right, he's a safety for us in three by one. He's played safety. He always was a safety. He's just now a bigger frame, so it's a luxury. But he's tied to three by one in our three high stuff. When we go two high, we go back to being a normal <coughs> split field, middle of the field open team. You know, so poach is one theory, right? Where we take the backside safety and we play him, all right, on a technique where he's got to play three vertical. Okay? Now, that's everyday teaching in most defense. That's everyday teaching in most three by one adjustments, right? It's just not everyday teaching for us. So if we want to play him down, then we have to get in a world where we understand in order to play him down, okay, now we've got to get into a too high mindset, right? Now, we could possibly, if we wanted to leave the backside safety there, all right, we could kind of get in the stump world, all right, where we are a little bit more, all right, in, in, you know, in the, instead of stubby, we get more into the stump world now, to where now the middle safety is walked and we pulled the chain a little bit, now we're going to leave the backside safety here to the single side, all right? And now we're going to add the middle safety to our drops underneath, okay? So now if three is up, all right, high safety's got to take three up. For us, our corner's going to midpoint one and two. Sam's going to try and knock two down vertically and then get out to the flat. Middle safety is a short wall of three player, all right? And then depending on where the back is, the will would either be a weak side player or a strong, four strong, all right, strong side hook dropper, all right, depending on where the back is. Well, we can get into the world where we play, I think some people call it stress, stump, 
all right, all the different terminology out there, but it's basically for us, if three goes vertical, it turns into three deep. If three is not vertical, it plays out much like a zone version of coverage, right? So if three didn't go vertical, so when you're playing stuff, the one thing that's going to drive you nuts is four verticals or all three of these guys going vertical, right? And when you talk to, you know, the big timers that do it, and it's like, all right, well, he's got to carry two vertical if three's vertical. I don't want to live in that world where I need to know what two's doing, three's doing, everybody else doing. For us, I don't ask the Sam to carry two vertical. I ask the Sam to knock his ass out on his way to the flat is what we try to do, all right? Now, if three is not vertical, so if three is out or under, you have no thread of three verticals, so now it turns more to a quarter theory. The corner can lean back to one, the safety can lean back to two, you've got a flat player to carry reels, you've got a curl player, and then if it's four strong, you have a hook player, because you can't get all three guys vertical if three doesn't go vertical, right? So for us, we could play a version of stump, and that would allow us to play the right safety on the backside or the left safety on the backside. So now we can stay in a world where we can get two for one and we can get weak side run support, okay, and we can still be in a two high deal. Or we've got to go like everybody else in the country has to go. We've got to play some poach deals or some steel or whatever you want to call it on the backside where we got to involve the backside safety. Now again, not what we do in three high, but if we want to get to a world where we're too high, that's probably got to be a component we teach, right? Because now we can flood everything underneath the front side, borrow him for three vertical. These guys could play palms the way they always do. All right, so you could, everything is same as over here. So you guys play palms, let the Sam play palms. That's the number three receiver. Now the middle safety can be a down guy, so if it's four strong, we get an extra player. All right, we don't need the will as much involved now because three verticals are going to be taken by the backside safety. So these guys can play palms the way they always do, same as backside safety can take three vertical. We can be a short wall, or if it's four strong, now the middle safety can be involved. All right, working the distribution out that way. If we get four strong, we could also add the will to that side so we can get extra push plays. All right, so again, for us, the middle safety being a hybrid linebacker allows us to jump from the three high world to the two high world without changing personnel. So the question now becomes for us, when we go to the two high world, and this is, you, you can determine this with your personnel. The question for us now becomes, when we want to go to the two high world, so when we want to go to four down, Okay. The bonus we have is he's still in the game. As long as he's in the game, we could go ahead and play our normal three by ones, and the only thing we got to teach the middle safety, who again, one of our best players, all right, Division One commit, returning player, smart kid. He knows that in four down theories, if it's three by one, he might have to go back and play his normal three by one adjustments. Same kid, I can still do that. So now it comes down to how do we want to teach it? All right, do we want to teach it formationally and tell the middle safety, okay, look, we're in a two high world to every set except three by one. If it's three by one, play our normal adjustments. Every other player on our team understands what those coverages are because that's how we play in three high. So if we do it that way, we can keep all our coverage components the same as our three high stuff. But if we get two by two, two by one, any other sets, we get pro, now we can get another player in the box and we can look more traditional because our middle safety plays there all the time anyways. So now if we were getting, you know, the, the 20 or 11 personnel stuff the way we've been getting, right, so if we started getting like twins, tight end backside, right, and wherever... If we wanted to go to four down, whichever way we were set in the front, if our Sam matched coverage strength and he went to the two speed, we're good there. If we play the Mike as, the middle safety as a linebacker, he's a three vertical player. Now he can play in the box. Now if we want to play quarters to this side, all right, we can bump the wheel. All right, we would play it all of one. Now we've got the right safety to play quarters there. All right, so we could certainly do that if the ball was in the middle of the field. Now it gives us, in a two-by-two two set, a little bit better presence in the box. Now it's a 4-1 box, 
Overhang to play the D-gap there. Safety can add if the tight end's in the run game. Sam's walked out playing everything there. So it looks a little bit better with a box that's heavier when the middle safety is down playing like a Mike linebacker, right? Coverage components-wise, we already play quarters. That's not a change. We already play palms. That's not a change, right? The, the, the issue for us in, in tight front is when we get this set, are we good enough to show teams a 3-1 box, even though the middle safety is going to be involved in a fit, and then our quarter safety? So even though we know that we're going to get to possibly eight guys in the fit, are we good enough up front with this light of a box to get the ball to go where we need it, and can we trigger it effectively enough with the safeties, because now you're supporting all those runs all right, from eight yards deep, just like you would in quarters. All right, so all these things are already built in. There's no new coverage component. All right, so nothing changes. He's the three vertical player anyways. He's the alert push player of three. Right, so when I go from that front, and I go to, to and this is the way we actually do it. Mike goes there, the end goes there, the nose goes there, the anchor goes there. Now if I go to that front and I play the middle safety down, okay, that box looks a little less inviting than the 3-1 box does to offenses. So for us, it's the same coverage components. For us, it's the same, all right, it's the same deal, okay? But for the offense, it looks a little bit different. Now, the other thing we do is we play some mid front stuff, all right? So we'll play some mid front stuff, and we'll put the mic away from the Sam. So now we'll play, all right, some mid deal. So now what we can do in the mid front is we can make it look more traditional. I can take the middle safety and play him as a backer. And now in the mid front world, we look more like it looks like when you see Georgia, Alabama teams in college that played a bunch. We've got the fourth rusher away from the Sam. So if they're putting us formation into the boundary and we match the formation and put the Sam into the boundary, we have a guy to the field that protects the edge a little bit more. All right, so it's fourth rusher away from the Sam. Tight front rules apply up front. But now, if the middle safety is a backer, it looks more traditional. So we look more like a 4-2 box, right, than we do a 4-1 box. Okay, so follow along. If we were three high traditionally, our middle safety would be lined up at eight, and he'd be back here. Will would probably be in the box by himself. So when we play mid front, it looks like a much lighter box. If I put the middle safety down as a backer, when the offense looks at it, it looks like a heavier box. All right, so those are the, the, the issues. When you're playing three high structures as a base and you're going to have change-ups, what you need to figure out is what's your next change-up. Can you play three high structures? We are fortunate that we chose a kid to play middle safety last year when I got here that grew into a player that's going to play linebacker in college probably. So now he, he, he knows how to play the back end. He knows how to play his coverages. Now all we got to do is play him in the box and, and fix all the motion adjustments, three-by-one adjustments. So you should know as a defensive coordinator when you make those changes, where are your issues? Can you handle your issues? Can your kids handle it? So now for us, we're comfortable enough to know that when we go to four down or mid front, which is a fourth rusher, we can get right back into being a traditional four down team because these are all that we would now play all our versions of coverages the same way we played it when we were a four two five team, right? And that's the hardest part. Tight front three high is a light box theory, pushing the ball out to the edges. As soon as you add a fourth down rusher, all right, or a fourth rusher, my bad, over front, Gaps don't relate. You don't take away interior gaps and make the ball push. So now you've got some issues if you want to try and stay three high. All right, so for us, playing him, be, having a kid that can be a hybrid backer, all right, allows us to put him in a position where now he can play just like the Mike because that's how he plays in coverages anyways, and he's big enough to be a linebacker in the box. So it's the best of both worlds for us. Now, if he wasn't my middle safety, if my middle safety was more of a safety, then anytime I change fronts or whatever, I may have to change personnel or I may have to fit it differently because if your middle safety is more of a safety type, he's okay in the run game, he can fit runs, but you don't want him lined up in the box, you want to push all runs out to him in space. If that's the case, well then the next adjustment you make, if you're not making personnel changes, it needs to fit 
that personnel. So the beauty of it is when you're choosing to play three high and you choose who the middle safety is, you can build all your components and all your protection pieces around that personnel. It just so happens for us, the middle safety for me is a Mike linebacker in coverage. So the fact that we chose a kid that put 15 pounds on in the offseason, now I can live in a world. Last year we didn't, we personnel changed. We brought a fourth down lineman in uh, when we went to four down stuff, and we played some different theories when we went to four down. There's some teams out there, I know college teams, that when they go four down from three high, they get out, they don't play three high, they get into three deep, or they play other deals when they play four down, simply because the run fits in the tight front, light box theory aren't the same when you go to, all right, other theories. Yes, you can play with heavy fives and you can cancel B gaps out. It's not the same theory as the light box tight front forcing the ball out. So tight three high is our base, we know that. Our middle safety happens to be a kid that's a hybrid backer. So when we make our changes, our changes are all gonna be with him being down involved as a box player because coverage wise, if it's two by two and he's playing Mike linebacker, I'm going to tell him who's got three up. Well, coach, I got to carry three vertical. Yes, because that's what you did in coverage all the time. Nobody else changes. All right, three by one in motion is the stuff we got to work on. So if you choose to play three high, you can choose who you want to be your, your middle safety. If it's your best football player and a guy that runs around that you absolutely love and he's physical, just understand when you go to make your adjustments, what adjustments should, be, should you be making. All right, if you adjust to three deep, if he's more of an athlete that's physical, well, then maybe he's the pole player and he's defending the deep middle of the field. All right, if you go to a Tampa 2 deal, he can be the pole guy, he can be that deep middle guy. If he's more of a linebacker like our kid is, all right, well then maybe when you make your adjustments, you keep pushing him further down. All right, so you choose the personnel, you figure it out. I think it needs to be your best football player, if not your best football player, one of your more active guys. If it's a lighter guy that's active and physical, when you make your protection pieces and you build those in, build it around him. All right, so hopefully this video helps you guys out if you are interested in three high or if you play three high or if you're choosing to play three high, how you're going to choose your personnel and then how you can protect it when you get to your second, third deal. All right, so I'm uh, going to start the Zoom clinics up again in July. I'm going to have it, try and have one every week in July. So starting next Thursday, July 6th, then the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th, we're going to end it. So I'm trying to get four more speakers set up for the entire month of July. So if you're interested in any of that, Email me, sting8740 at gmail.com. We've already done four or five of those clinics that I have, all those presentations saved on YouTube. If you're interested in those, email me. And they were all $10 a piece for each one we did. Um, I had my head coach did screen game. I did tight front stuff. Head coach from Creekside did game drills. Uh, Noel Mazzone did an offensive talk. Devin Bice did uh, West Alabama O-line coach. So I've got five clinics saved up. If you're interested in any of those, I'll let you know how you can how we can handle the payment. I can send you the link and we'll be good to go from there. So, uh, sorry I haven't been around in three weeks. Took a little break, refresh, recharge the batteries, uh, golf trip. Now we're right back in the middle of football mode again. So videos will start picking up, start doing the YouTube shorts again, regular videos, YouTube Live, Patreon, everything's gonna start full circle. So if you held on and you were still hanging on, God bless you, thank you. Didn't go anywhere, just took a little bit of a break. So I appreciate everything you guys do for me. I right, appreciate you guys being followers of Play Fast. Remember, subscribe, notifications, ring the bell, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments, all the good stuff that I say in all the other videos. None of that has changed. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast. I will see you guys next time.